Hello! Today I will present you a new T-Display S3. I received it a week ago and since then I have been playing with it every free second I have. And I don't have many free seconds these days. If you are my subscriber you know that old TTGO T-Display is one of my favorite development board based on ESP32 chip. I made more than uh, 20 projects with this little guy and you can check them on my channel. I will leave a playlist link in description. And now it is time for new version with even bigger and faster display. With new ESP32 S3 chip and with many other features which I will show in this video. So in this video I will show you what is new, what are features of this board, how fast it is, where to get it. I will also show you my sketch and I will give you code for it and much more. So uh, stay tuned and if you like this board so far hit that subscribe button below because I will make many projects with this so don't miss it. Also if you want to support my work you can buy me a coffee on my coffee page. Link is in description. And here are the topics. Unboxing, tools that can be used to program TTGO T-Display S3, what is new compared with old TTGO display, speed, my first sketch and free code, where to buy T-Display S3 and what is price, plans for future videos and conclusion. So let's start. T-Display S3 board came in this nice plastic box. Inside we can find our development board, header pins if you want to solder them, and this wire which is used to attach battery. All is well sealed and protected using this foam. Currently T-Display S3 can be programmed in Arduino IDE, Platform I.O. and ESP IDF. I am using Arduino IDE. Uh, board is not hard to set up and install. You can find instructions on their GitHub page. But I will also make instruction video very soon. Okay, let's compare it with uh, previous version. First thing we will notice that the new board is slightly bigger, but the good news that, that this display is much bigger than old one. Older model have a resolution 240 by 135 and new one have resolution 320 by 117 which is all almost twice bigger twice more pixels also this display is newer so colors are beautiful especially black bigger pixel dens density so display looks great and sharp i love this display and also what is new display is mounted on this piece of acrylic uh, which gives feel of quality and the, this acrylic also transfer some of the light so this board looks awesome in in dark areas i also love this feature and now this display is much more protected than this one. We we still have two push buttons 
we still have battery connector but now we can monitor battery voltage on pin 4 I will test this feature in some other video uh, here we have connector for antenna and here we have this groove a new connector uh, for additional modules and sensors if you don't want to use uh, these pins so difference are bigger display groove connector acrylic case pin for reading voltage of a battery but uh, the most important difference is brain old TTGO T display is powered by ESP32 chip and the new T display S3 is powered by ESP32 S3 chip so is this new chip faster this question <laughs> brings us to our next topic which is speed and short answer is that <laughs> new board is much faster both chips run on 240 megahertz but new chip is dual core so it has more processing power this is great because uh, we can use one core for Wi-5 and another for rest of tasks for example other than that the new chip support newer Bluetooth and Wi-Fi protocols better safety and encryption and some new features chip is quite new so it will pass some time until people start to use all new features but there is also another reason why I think this board is much faster it is because this display is much faster than this one because this one use parallel communication you can see that more pins are used to connect uh, this display to ESP32 S3 chip so data is transferred much faster we can see in these pictures that new model use more pins for for display I made this uh, sketch to show the capabilities of this board to test how fast it uh, can redraw whole display and I'm quite impressed the the whole time this board is connected to my Wi-Fi board gets time and date from the internet and whole display is one big sprite and it is drawn 32 times in second so 30, 32 FPS here's graph that shows array of data right now data are generated randomly but if I press this button I can get analog readings from pin 44 which is inside this groove cable code is in description so feel free to use it you can uh, use any analog sensor and show data on this graph this can be nice battery monitor or for example or a temperature monitor you can buy this board on Banggood site right now price is great keep in mind that this is new board so be fast if you want to buy it I think price will also go up in future plan is to make lots of videos using this board because I think people <laughs> will use this a lot uh, if you if you are one of them don't forget to subscribe so we can learn together I have many cool projects in mind so don't miss them my conclusion is that this is great development board faster and larger display groove connector and improved speed are reason I immediately fell in love with this little guy so I will spend lots of time playing with it 
I hope you will join me on this journey. Thank you. Please leave a comment, please like this video, subscribe, check the description for more info and have a nice day. I hope I will see you soon. Cheers.